I'm trying, I'm starting something new this semester with my own lines. I'm letting them Skype in to my, you know, coinciding classes. So if I'm teaching a math 110 my, and I'm 110 online, then they're welcome to Skype in whenever they want to. Uh, of course, I don't know that yet because half of them haven't checked their emails. So even though I called all of them and told them to check their emails, well, that pissed a lot of them off because that did away with that excuse. Uh, yeah, this is Hubert. Uh, you know, you need to check your emails. Bastard. That's probably what they said. So what is that TCTC help desk? That is the help desk in case you have a password problem with Tri-County Tech, in case you have a banner problem, a degree works problem, an email problem, that's who you call. Don't get attitude with them because their computer, their IT, they can get they can get attitude back with you because they have job security. Nobody wants their job. So if you get an attitude with them, they're gonna get attitude with you. Good morning, Pendleton campus. This person just walked in. Let's see. Pendleton campus. Okay, there's one extra. I got Dupree, Reese, and Ray. Who's the one I didn't call? Reese. Dupree. Classic. Macroeconomics. This is Math 110. This is Math 110. You in the right class? You can no. stay if you want to. I'd be glad to teach you math. That was fine. <laughs> Have a good one. Hey. All right. The MyLab Plus tech support only use in an extreme, extreme emergency. Do you know why? Because you'll be put on hold for like five hours, probably about 30 minutes. Depends on when you call. If you call at, you know, you know 8 o'clock at night, you're probably not going to wait as long as you call at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, too much vodka. Anyway, make sure if you have any problems with My Labs Plus, if you have any problems with the logging in, call My Labs Plus. But send me an email first on that because sometimes I can help you. And always revert to the My Labs Plus uh, handout that tells you which are the best uh, site uh, web engines to use. Uh, Google Chrome works the best. Uh, Firefox would probably be the second least. Do not use Internet Explorer. And try not to use an Apple because they screw up everything. Okay, But if you use an Apple, you're going to have to go through and pull in the web. And you can use Safari, I think it is. Um, but you might want to pull in a couple of extra ones just in case. And that's pretty much that. But there's a, there's a, in your emails that some of you didn't get for the last two weeks, you need to go in there and look at that uh, handout because it tells you what to do and who to contact. Okay? So make sure you read that. Um, now, I didn't put the My Labs Plus uh, on My Labs Plus because if you can get into My Labs Plus to get the My Labs Plus handout, then there's no need for you to have the My Labs Plus handout. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't put the My Labs Plus handout in My Labs Plus. That's kind of self-explanatory. So speaking of which, let's go to the email and we will look at the email and for those of you that are still in 1996 and don't check your emails and don't have them sent to your phone or you don't look on it on your phone, then we're going to pull them up so you won't say you didn't get them. So let's go to, what is this class? Math 110? There's the Math 110. Um, I've sent them out like five or six times. There's one right there. So let's pull, and these are also on my lab plus. So those of you that add or you know, add a week after, you can still get them, and you can't use that excuse, I didn't get the email. One of the things you're going to find out about me as a teacher is I take care of all your what? Excuses. If you ever meet somebody that has had me before, and they made below a D in my class, technically below a C because it's, a, it's, a, it's impossible, okay? 
then get away from that person because either the DAD disorder is going to rub off on you or the LAD disorder is going to rub off on you. You know what LAD is? Lazy. Good job. Lazy ass disorder. What is what is the other one? What is DAD? Oh, come on, people. Y'all can be creative. If, if LAD is lazy ass disorder, what is DAD? Thank you. Dumb ass disorder. Okay? So just get away from that person because I'm going to tell you something. You know, I'm not bragging. I've been teaching for over 20 years, but I treat my students the way I would want to be treated. And it's worked wonders, okay? Students like that environment. I try to keep it a comfortable environment, and I try to be fair. But there's still there's still some out there that can't spell mom backwards. And you you know, ten percent of the population end up on live PD, okay? And there's nothing you can do about it. There's there's ten percent of the people in here. I don't know how many I got. Ten here, four. What is that? Four, five, six. Sorry, Oconee. I only see one of y'all at a time. Sorry. I think there's two up there. Two, three, it's, what, five? There's 15. So two of y'all are going to screw this up, okay? I don't know who it is, but two of y'all are going to screw it up. I don't know. So that's just the way it is. There's three rules in life, okay? One is pay me now, pay me later. I mean, you saw that up there. Pay now, pay later. Another one is there's always one, which means the 10%. There's always one that's going to show up. I got it. We're good? Yeah, I got it. They, they logged on. Okay, thank you. There's always one or there's always 10% that's going to screw it up for the rest of the class, the rest of your job, whatever. And, guys, you never, you never answer the following two questions. Does this make me look fat or will you remarry or go with another woman after I die? Those are three things you need to remember in life, okay? You never answer those two questions, guys. All right? Some of you are like, huh? <laughs> but the first two are very true. All right, so here we go. Math 110 syllabus. There it is. Now, the syllabus is really useless because it was written for the people in Columbia. So just ignore the syllabus and go down to the most important page in this whole right there. Write that down. That right there is the most important page. That is called the outline. That page, which some of y'all will not do, print it out, put it on the inside of your notebook or in the cover of your notebook or tape it to the inside cover of your notebook or put it three holes in it and put it at the beginning of your notebook. This is the most important page of this class. Why? Well, you can actually, they want us to do this, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to take you to the bathroom, I'm not going to take you to the water fountain, and I'm not going to fill out dates for you on something that you should be able to do. You're an adult, okay? So I'm not doing it. But if there's four tests in the class, okay, there's four tests. You can count them. Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, Unit 4. If there's four tests in the class, and we go to class for 14 weeks, how do you figure out a tentative work schedule? That means I want y'all to answer. I want y'all to interact with me. You take 14 weeks and divide by what? Four. And then you go to your handy-dandy calendar, and you write down, okay, we're going to be here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so that's three days. And you write down those dates and those first three lines. And then you write down the second one, and then you write down the third one. And you adjust the calendar to... Now, another reason I leave it open is because I throw that out the window. Because I go, and you'll see how I teach, I go with input from the class. So if I assign Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 homework, and y'all go through it, and everybody does it in two days, and nobody sends me homework questions, then we're going to have a test at the end of the week, and we're going on to Unit 2. But if we get to vertical and horizontal asymptotes, and some of y'all start sending questions, am I going to keep going, or am I going to slow down and answer those questions? I'm going to slow down and answer those questions. So the people, I mean, the, the, the speed of the class is dictated by who? By the students. 
Now, let's talk about procrastinators, the ones that do all the homework at the end. You don't even count. Okay? And how do I know who my procrastinators are? They're the ones that worry about what? Dates. They're the ones that bounce all around like a ping pong ball. You know, you ever seen Hammy on uh, the Hammy the Squirrel on Over the Hedge? You ever you seen that cartoon? Hammy the Squirrel? That's the people that worry about dates. Okay? Don't ask me about dates because that irritates me. Okay? It really irritates me. Because I explain to you how I do things in my class. Now, let's talk about something else. What if you send me a question that I've already covered? Then I won't answer it. You send me an email to say, Hubert, what did I go? What are you going over tomorrow? And I just went over relations and functions. I just went over that. And you call me and say, I'm not going to be in class. I'm not going to Skype. I'm not going to watch the video. Okay, you get that? I'm not going to Skype. I'm not going to watch the video. In other words, there's two avenues to go if you don't come to class. So you don't have to call and ask me what we're going in. And the third thing, if I go over relations and functions today, then what am I going to go over Wednesday? Graphs and basic functions. So if you call me or email me and say, Hubert, I missed Monday. What did you go over or whatever? What are you going over next time? Are you going to get a reply? No. The reason you're not going to get a reply is because you have an outline that tells you what I'm going to go over. You have a video system on YouTube that tells you what I'm going over. And then you should have Skyped me in if you couldn't make it. There's, there's three avenues there if you're out of this class to tell you what I'm going to go over in the next class. Okay? So that's what the outline is for. The outline is also a template for you to know what we're going over for the first unit test. We're going over chapter one and chapter two. One section in chapter one, which is kind of like a review. And then chapter two, we're skipping chapter four. Do not get ahead of me because I do take out things. And I also combined, I try to combine the first and the second unit. Why? Because basically they're the same thing. In fact, you could actually teach the second unit first and you wouldn't even have to teach the first unit because you learn everything in the second unit in the first unit. Because some people say, well, you crawl them before you walk. Yes, you are. So I do go through the second unit. I go through the first unit and then the second unit, and then I give you both the tests at the end of the second unit. Okay? So just beware of that because a lot of you are going to be, we're going to be like in the third or fourth week, and some of you hammies, y'all are going to be self-combusting. Your head's going to be exploding. Okay? Because you're going to be like, oh my God, oh my God, my cousin's in another math class and she's already had two tests. I need to have the first test. You need some medication. Okay? You need to take a shot or you need some medicine because normal people don't think like that. Okay? Normal people think, okay, well, the teacher's in control. The teacher's going to, you know, tell us when the test is. We don't have a test and I guess he's just going to, you know, give us a test at the end of the semester. That's what normal people think. Okay? You hammy people, me and you, we don't get along, okay? So this is the outline. So this is the first most important page in this class. Does everybody understand that? Because there's going to be three or four of y'all that don't print it out, you don't put it in your notebook, and you email me and you text me and you say, when is this? and you don't get a reply, then you get mad at me and call my department head, and then she laughs because she knows you haven't followed directions. Because my department head knows me, and she knows how I run my class. If you call and say, my teacher's not re replying to me, she's going to say, well, you must have read your head now. Okay? Any questions on the outline? Any questions whatsoever? So think of this as your Bible for the class. The, you, you, the only thing that's important, and if you can read, if you notice you can't hardly read this stuff because it's made out for those people in Columbia. Philadelphia lawyer might can read it. But those are the only two important things right here. So write those down. Grading scale. 
a base 10 scale the way it's supposed to be. Not this bull crap, 95 to 100 is an A. That was bull crap. That's, that's, I'm not even going to there. All right. Below 60 means you are a failure in life and should quit school. That's what it means. Grading rationale. I go on with foolishness. Please don't go to your parents and say, he called me a failure. I ain't called anybody a failure. I just said, if you make below 60, you're a failure in life. That's all I said. Grading rationale. 80% of this grade comes from, my grade, comes from test and exam. 80%. 20% comes from homework. I don't give comprehensive, I don't give, I do give final exam, but I put that in with this. So 80% is four unit test and a final exam. So divide 80 by five, what is that, 16? So 16%, each one of your tests and the final exam is 16% each. And the homework is 20%. I don't do quizzes unless y'all want me to. Oconee, Pendleton, y'all want me to give y'all quizzes every week? No. Okay. So we don't do quizzes. Okay, so make sure you put that on your outline so you'll know and you can say the teacher went over the syllabus. If you want to read this syllabus, if you have problems going to sleep at night, then read this syllabus because it will put you to sleep if you can read it. Okay, so that's the syllabus. And if you go to the handy dandy uh, YouTube, I meant not YouTube. If you go to My Labs Plus, there is the syllabus. So therefore, you don't have the excuse I didn't get it in the email. I know I'm a bastard. Class courtesy. Class courtesy. Hubert's number one rule. Let's pull it up in the email just so everybody can see it in the email. Hubert's class courtesy. Hubert's number one rule is I treat students the way I want to be treated. That's my number one rule. That's been the rule since I started here at Tri-County over 20 years ago. I was a student here, went to Marine Corps, finished here, finished uh, Clemson. Can't say Clemson with a P because you're a racist Southerner. You do. You got to say Clemson like those announcers on ESPN. It's Clemson. I grew up saying Clemson, you know. It's got a P in it, but you can't say that because that means you're, means you're ignorant. So you got to say Clemson. You ever seen, you ever seen ESPN announcers? They don't say Clemson. They say Clemson. They, they sound more stupid when they say Clemson than they do when they say Clemson. But who knows? But my number one rule is I treat students the way I want to be treated, and I've never forgotten that rule. I have taught over 20, I don't keep up with it. Take 1995 away from 2019. I was close to 25 years, I think, somewhere around there, 24. You know how many people I've thrown out of my class? Anybody want to take a guess? Y'all are not very challenging, are you? Anybody, just throw out a number. You're a loser. No, I'm just kidding. 24? Nope. Three. Two of them were males, had overcompensation issues. The girl, she was just a teetotal bitch. I mean, nothing could make her happy. Nothing. So, you know, I just, I just look at that as if you want to be part of that group, okay, two with overcompensation issues and one a teetotal not make happy, then you can be in that group. Three people in 24 years. So I don't know what my, there's three things I don't like to do. I don't like to hear myself talk. I don't like to video myself. And I do not like to see my evaluations. So, but I have been told that my evaluations I'll rate my professor are accurate. So, if you go to rate my professor, I hope they're accurate, because I will not look at them. I'm scared too. Then go there and look. We're going to pull that up and make fun of other teachers here in a minute. All right. Cell phones. I got a cell phone. You heard it go off a while ago. I'm not a hypocrite. 
If your cell phone goes off, just like my cell phone goes off, I have I have family members. I have a son at Robert Anderson, I have a daughter at Clemson, Clemson, and I have a mother that's 80 years old that doesn't care what my schedule is. Okay, so she calls whenever she wants to. If they call, I know something's what wrong. So I go out in the hallway and I answer it, or if I see a text, I say I've got to answer this. I'll go out there and text back or whatever. If I do that, then that means what? You do that. If you get an emergency call, you go outside, you just get up, you don't have to say anything, go out in the hallway. Don't let me catch you texting because that insults my intelligence and it tells me that you can't follow SA directions. Period. And if you can't follow SA directions, then chances are you're not going to be able to do the class anyway. All right? So cell phones and texting, that pretty much fits in one little group. This is not an online class. I just use the online features to take up for class, which is usually if you take four tests, multiply that by two, because I give you a test, you take it, and then I give it back to you, you go over it. So that's two days per test. That's eight days. And then if you count 15 minutes, when I go around and check to see if you copied the answers in the back of the book correctly, all right, that equals another two or three days. So chances are eight plus three is 11. That's 11 days I could be what? Starts with a T, teaching. So a lot of teachers are like, I don't see how you get through with it. I don't see how you get through I get through because I don't do busy work. Why well, do busy work when you've got the technology to let students, and 10% of the students, if you want to kill somebody, if you want to steal something, if you want to cheat, are you going to find a way to do it? Yes. Huh? Yes, you're going to find a way to do it. The person that has a 12-foot fence around their house and 15 Doberman pinchers and six alarm systems, who do you think they're going to target to steal something valuable? That house. Okay? And they're going to get in there no matter what. A cheater is going to cheat. 10% of this class is going to cheat. I know that. But I don't care about the 10%. I care about the 90% that wants to learn. Okay? So that's my theory on that. So if you're one of these people that cheat, you're not getting over on me. I know you cheat. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the students that actually, you know, come to class and want to learn. Because guess what? Those cheaters... They're going to get caught eventually, and they're going to be the ones at work that don't do their work and depend on other people to do the work, and eventually they're going to get fired. Even though in today's society that's awful to get fired because you're offending somebody, but if you don't do your work, you get fired. All right. Attendance policy. I do take attendance. I don't want to. I could care less, but I have to. That does not mean I'm going to drop it. I only drop people if what? If student records tells me to drop you, if the business office, if your family, if the police department, if you, somebody has to send me an email to tell me to drop you. Other than that, you're okay. Now, the online class, I have to take attendance that first week. And most of y'all have already been here the first day, so you're going to get an attendance today, and that means you're sure you're in the class. So the online class, they have to do something different. They have to Skype in and they're, they're counted here for the first week. My class is based on the following items. You work, you pass. You don't work. This isn't socialism in here, okay? What's your name? I'm sorry, last name. Porter. Porter. If Miss Porter studies her butt off and makes 100 on each of her tests, I'm not going to take 10 points from her test and give it... What's your name? Huh? Last night, Miss Utz, is it Utz? I'm not going to give 10 points to Miss Utz. I'm not going to give Miss Porter's 10 points to Miss Utz and Miss Utz partying the night before. Okay? No, that ain't the way. If you work in here, you pass. If you don't work, you're going to end up with the group that make below a 50 in my class and you should stay away from them. Okay? I generalize when I speak. I make a lot of jokes. You may not laugh at them. I don't care. But I make a lot of jokes, and they're general. If it applies to you, you do not raise your hand and say, you're talking about me. Okay, if I'm making fun of somebody, you don't raise your hand and say that I'm making fun of you. 
Okay? Subject lines, that's easy. Know-it-alls, they used to be deadheads. Usually, the, or the dumbasses, whichever one you want to call them. Those used to get on my nerves. But here in the last 15 years, try, the, the high schools have been putting out NASA engineers. They know everything. They didn't build the space shuttle. They created it. Okay? We've got students now graduating high school. That they didn't learn calculus. They invented it. I don't know where these students are coming from, and they're usually, I hate to tell you, they're usually males. Okay? Because the males know everything. An 18-year-old male, you can't tell an 18-year-old male how to do anything. I don't know how many of you are 18. You don't need to raise your hands. But my philosophy of this class is if you knew the material, you wouldn't want to be in the class. So if you want to teach this class, you teach it at home to yourself, period. <laughs> and while you're at it, find a cure for cancer while you're at home teaching yourself how to do it. All right. Good work ethic, positive attitude, sense of humor. I do want you to interact. One of my goals is to have a positive work environment, learning environment. And that means that you know a little bit about me, I know a little bit about you, and the only way we do that is to talk to each other. Not with the phone, not on the computer, but interact in the classroom. Period. Okay, I know that some of y'all having a conversation is, is like, is like Martian, but you know, we can have little conversations in class. Little, you know, minute bits like yes and no. Can y'all do that? On your own. Okay, good. Well, we, we, we're doing good because most, most students, they just sit there and look at me like spelling mom backwards or race car backwards. Okay, some people don't know if you spell race car backwards, it's race car. Somebody's going, Chester drawers. I call it Chester drawers. Anyway, let's pull something else out. Hubert's information. Hubert's information. There's my information. Why did I give it to you? So you don't have the excuse what? I don't know how to get in touch with you. Okay? There's my cell number. That's the best way to contact me. Second best way is through H. McClure at TC. It comes directly to my email. I show you how to do that in your handout that says forwarding TCTC email to your phone. Okay? Tells you a little bit about me. Two or three of these are test questions. You have to read it. Yeah, you have to read it. It's test questions. I think there's two test questions on this sheet. Okay? So that's that question, mainly for this. Yeah, there's two. How to get in touch with me and what branch of service did I serve in? All you got to do is read it, even though I get five people out of 20 that miss it. These people procreate and have driver's licenses. They're going to be on live PD too. Locator card. This is for the student. This is for the student that says, I don't know. When are you in your office? You write me an email or a text that says, when are you in your office? Will you get a reply back? No. Because I've given it to you. There it is. Now, I would suggest if you're on your way from BFE or if you're Skyping me, you can Skype. Um, Oconee Campus, I only see one person. So what's your what's your name, ma'am? Um, Lydic. Last name what? Lydic. Lydic. Where do you live up in Oconee? Uh, in Wahala. Okay. She lives in Hogwaller. All right. So if you live in Wahala, you're not going to come to Anderson. So what would you do? You would Skype me if you had a question, right? Then you go to the How to Skype Hubert. And you text me. You give me your name, and I pull you up. And I can pull you up from home, or I can pull you up from here. So that's a good thing, especially for Oconee and Pendleton Campus. If you have a question, boom. But most of your questions will be answered through Ask My Instructor, which sends the questions to me. Okay? And then we go over them in class. I don't really have office hours anymore. 
Again, technology takes care of that because you send me the questions and I go over them in class. How can I go over your questions in class? Because I don't do busy work. I don't do all that stuff, that traditional stuff. So there is, so I've got a break after this class and then I got Math 155. So the online class, the online Math 110, if they wanted to Skype in, they would Skype in between 9 and 10 o'clock because that's when I teach the 110 in this class. Okay? Throwing that in there for those 110 that are listening. I'm going to put this up and we'll get to the YouTube in just a second. So there's my schedule. So not only do you know when my office hours are, you know all my information there, but you can go back to here, and here's the other question that you, I didn't know where your office was. What did I tell you right here? I give you directions to my daggum office. So some of y'all are seeing, good God, this guy, he covers all my excuses. Yep, I do. That's why I'm saying if you ever meet somebody that makes below a 60 in my class, move away from them slowly. Please, because something bad is going to rub off on them. Next. Let's see what's, the, what's next. Let's see. Academic calendar. Very important. Academic calendar tells you important what? Dates. You've got two or three test questions from there. Here's two of them right here. Last day of class and final what? Final exam weeks. I can't highlight them both. Okay, let's write that down so that way nobody will miss this. Somebody will. Last day of class is Tuesday, December 3rd. Final exam, December 4th through December 10th. Now let's go ahead and get this out of the way. If I give you online tests throughout the semester, I'm going to give you an online exam. I'm not going to change horses in midstream. So you have all week to take that final exam. And you'll see when I give you, I give you all a whole week to take your unit test. Some of y'all have five dead grandmothers and you have two week funerals to go to. Well, you got seven days to take the test. If you can't take it in seven days, then don't worry about it. Okay, so there's two questions right there. Other things you need to be aware of. Here's all the uh, holidays. Somebody pick out a holiday. Where's a holiday? Where's it say no classes? Thank you. Labor Day, right here. Yes. Labor Day, September 2nd. College closed. If it says college closed, that means you don't come to class. If it says no classes, that means you don't come to class. So now, if you send me a text message, it says, do we come to class on Labor Day? Will you get a reply? No. This is part of the college experience. It involves a calendar. And you put stuff in that what? Calendar. It's called being an adult. And here's last day to register, last day to change major. Where's the last day to drop? Let's see, it's down here somewhere. There it is. Last day to drop. Drop means without record, which is like two days from now. So if you go in and the teacher sucks, or you go in and you see on Rate My Professor that this teacher has a two or below, get the hell out. If you get a teacher that's got a two or below, get out. I don't care if you got 1800 SAT, it's going to be painful. Okay? So get out. I would. All right, that's the academic calendar. So that takes care of that. I'm trying to get through most of the handouts today. Forward in your email. Okay? That's something that you do as a choice. Follow this direction, follow these directions. Of course, there's only one phone in the world, and that's the iPhone. Okay? There's no other phones in the world, it's only iPhone. But if you have an Android like mine, dang old Samsung, then you can follow the same directions. It's the same thing. So, and you can, if you have any trouble, call 1779, and they will help you out. 
This is imperative, especially if you're an online student or if you have a teacher that, you know, deals with technology, which is only about five people on the entire Tri-County campus. We still got people asking for blackboards. We had a person ask for a blackboard to be put in their room, and we had one person at the Anderson campus ask for an overhead projector. When you can do everything on this. These are Rolexes. This is an Epson system with the whiteboard. This is a Rolex, and they want to pull out a Walmart watch. Blows my mind. Anyway, I'll be all right. I take medicine. All right, what's the locator card? Okay, here is the MyLabs Plus student login. I'm trying to hurry because some of y'all are going to self-combust about 10 minutes till 10, and I don't want that to happen. All right, this is how you log on. Now, there's another sentence I want to add to this, and I sent an email this morning. Blackboard sucks, okay? How many of you have used Blackboard here at Tri-County Tech? Anybody? Does it suck? Does it does it fall, does it go down every time you need it? Yes. Okay. And and teachers cannot understand why I don't use it. My boss, why don't you use Blackboard? Cause it sucks. I don't. If 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 you have two cars and one runs great all the time, has good air conditioning, has a good heater, runs perfect, runs quiet, gets good gas mileage, are you gonna drive drive the one that? doesn't have air conditioning, the one that doesn't, the one that sounds like a motorcycle going down the road, wheels are out of balance. No. Hubert, you need to use Blackboard. Yeah. Let me, let me go jump in the truck that's about to fall apart. Anyway, if these are, the, these are the people you call if something happens. Okay? There, there's their emails. All right? Look, the preferred browsers for MLP, that's my labs plus, are Firefox, Safari, or Google Chrome. Not Internet Explorer. Okay? Now, you can read over that as you want to, but I'm going to take you to my handout. YouTube and every one of you should have received an intro email which told you how to get Skype for business. Did everybody get that email? Okay, one or two people. Well, I didn't get no email. Well, here it is. And it's also on my lab plus, so you can't use that excuse. How to access Hubert's videos. Go to YouTube. There it is. That's how you get. I'll show you that in just a minute. Skype and Skype for business. Skype and Skype for business are not the same. You need Skype for business. How do you need, how do you get Skype for business? You go to office.com, you type in TCTC email, it will forward you to another login. You type in your TCTC email and your password, either your T number with a capital T or your password that you changed it to. Install. It'll install Office 365 up to seven, I think five or seven installations. Your phone, your laptop, your tablet, your desktop, your work computer, you got it covered. Now you can Skype into class, you can Skype with questions, piece of cake. It only takes like two minutes to download this. Some of y'all, it will take all semester. Registering now, this last sentence, I want everybody to read that last sentence to yourself. I'm going to read it out loud. After you have logged on via Blackboard, or if Blackboard is screwed up, try this web address and try to log on there. Now, Tri-County Tech wants everybody to go through Blackboard. Why? I don't know. I think it's basically uh, to justify having Blackboard, even though high schoolers can probably hack into it. Anyway. The whole point is they want you to go through Blackboard to get to MyLabs Plus. Okay, sometimes Blackboard doesn't work. Sometimes the, the link, I, I, I went on the Math 110 course a while ago and the link wasn't there. So I don't know if I've got to add it or what. They said they were going to have it. They were going to have it on there. 
So I'm just telling the students to go to there and see if you can log in. Use your H McClure or whatever your user ID is and then type in your T number or type in your password. Okay? If your password is working, use your password. If your password doesn't work, then go back and use your T number with a capital T. Usually those two things will work. Question on that? And like I said, I went to I went to it this morning, and it didn't look right. It's not it's not supposed to look like it was looking. Where is? I mean, oh yeah, it logs you off every 15 seconds. I say log on the blackboard. Okay, it looks better. Let me see if it's working now. Nope. It's. For some reason, it's going to this. So I don't know if y'all click. Have y'all clicked on it? Has anybody clicked on it today? Did it look like that? What did it look like? Did it have a? Did it have my lab plus on the left hand side? Um, no, but one of my classes was this. See, it it's a cluster. Okay, so that's why I tell students because everything that I do is where in my lab plus. You do not need. Blackboard, unless for that initial, they want you to hit that link to go into. I don't know why they want you to do that. I think it's a joke. But anyway, get try to go directly. If it doesn't work, then you're going to have to wait until we get this unclustered. Okay? So that's that. Now you have all. Now what if you didn't get the email? Well, as soon as you get on, as soon as you get on, I'm trying to find it. Where is it? I got so much pulled up. There we go. As soon as you get on to My Labs Plus, there's your class, Math 110. I'll just pull the coordinator and course up. There's Math 110. Oh, they finally got my 111. I asked for that Thursday. Just got it today. Good. Okay, Math 110. And if you look, there is your Math 110 syllabus. Your class courtesy, your Hubert's information, Hubert's locator, YouTube, and academic calendar, and forwarded. You have every handout except for the logging on to My Lab Plus. Why didn't I put that on here? Because you're already on My Lab Plus. You don't need it. Okay? So now you've got several emails that's got these handouts, and you've got My Lab Plus that has these handouts. So you don't need the excuse, I didn't get the email. Okay, and of course you go up here and print them out. Okay. Question on the handouts. Um, so I haven't gotten my access code yet. Can we get that today? Yeah, whenever you buy your book, it comes in a card. But I think they're supposed to, they're supposed to automatically enroll you. All you have to do is, you shouldn't have to have an access code now. Just check with uh, when you buy your book or ask. Uh, I don't. Does anybody know? Did you have to have an access code? Anybody have to have an access code? Has anybody registered yet? Did you? You have. Okay. We well just wait. Let's just wait to see. But if you buy a book, I think the access code. I think when you pay tuition, I think you automatically are registered. You just have to go in and say, okay, I'm here, and that's what you do when you sign in. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the textbook is online, right? It's online. Everything's online. You do not have to. Now, this is a question that I often get. Do I need a book? You, Whatever you bring to this class, I don't care. You can print out the book online, you know, by section. Put it in a notebook, bring it to class. You can bring an old book. You can share a book. You can steal a book. I don't care what you do. What you bring to this class, I don't care. Because I'm going to pull a book up if I need it. I'm going to pull it up. Mostly I pull problems up and I go over problems. And then if I if there's a rule that you need to write down, I'll pull it up in the book. I'll just go down here and I'll say chapter contents and I'll go to 1.2 and I'll go to e-text and I already have it pulled up and it'll be in here and it'll come up eventually. And I'll say, okay, on page 365, Make sure you write down what's in the blue box. And it's not coming up. There we go. OK. 
Okay, page 12. There we go. And I'll go down here and I'll say, okay, I don't want that. Let's go to the next page. I'll turn to the page and I'll say, oh, that's not what I want either. Okay, there you go. And I'll say in the box on page 14, write down what a relation is. And that's what you write in your notes. Or if you brought your book, or if you printed out your book, you would highlight that or whatever. So I, I do anything in the book I pull up. Anything that I think is important to you. Okay? Now, Wednesday, we will go over um, we will go over what's inside my labs plus. Okay? So what you need to do now, what you need to do today is you need to one, print out all your handouts, make sure you get Office downloaded. Make sure you go to the YouTube channel. Let's go to the YouTube. Now we got a couple of minutes because some of y'all are going to explode here in a minute. Pull up Hubert McClure and click on my name and go to playlist. And you can watch the first and second day. What class is 110? So pull up the last 110 class I had. That's, that's office hours. That's not, there it is. Fall Math 110. And when you pull that up, you can actually see the first and second day. Okay, I don't know why that's not available. Why isn't it available? What the heck is Sylvester Stallone coming up there for? Damn Russians. I don't know what happened in my Math 110. Let me pull it up again. That's virtual office hours. Hell, it disappeared. Did I not see a Math 110 right down here? I thought I saw it. Okay, there it is. Let me try it again. That's unusual. It doesn't do that. Okay, doesn't matter. You can pull up 120 if you want to. There. First day. I want to show you something. I'm going to mute it because I can't stand to hear myself talk. And look at there. Pulling up the emails, going over the emails, going over My Labs Plus, going over Skype. So you can actually go to any of my classes and pull up the first and second day. And I will, well, that's the second day because this must have been, I must have hurried up, I don't know. Or this was an hour and a half class. And I got to the actual looking at the test and showing you how we do tests and homework. On, that's what I'm going to do Wednesday. So you can go ahead and look at the first and second day. So I don't have a second day here. I have a first day. So I evidently that was an hour and a half class. Oh, it's a summer class. So that was probably two hours. Okay. So I got through everything. So on that one, you just watch the first day. If it says first day and second day, then you need to watch both of them because that's what we're going over today and Wednesday. So you need to get familiar with YouTube. You need to get familiar with uh, Skype. Make sure you can pull up Skype and log into Skype for business. Not Skype, but Skype for business. Go to Rate My Professor. We didn't get to do that today. Hopefully we can do that. We got two minutes, I think. What time's class over? 10? 9.55 or 10? Which one is it? I got 10. Okay, well, I think it's 10. I'm not sure. All right, let's type in. I thought I had Rate My Professor pulled up here. There it is. Oh, no. I'm not looking at mine. Let's pull up. Anybody got a teacher they want to pull up? Come on. Look at the schedule. Pull up, pull up a teacher. Nobody knows their teachers yet. Y'all suck. Huh? Hoover. Hoover? Yes. Like J. Edgar? J. Edgar. Y'all don't know who J. Edgar was, do you? That was Hoover. 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 I don't see Hoover. They must be new. H O O V E R. What? Oh. She got a 4.8. She only got five ratings. Now, there's two or three things you have to take into account when you're looking at these ratings. If they only got two or three ratings, 
Either they're new to teaching or they're new to Tri-County Tech. Or they don't tell their students about Rate My Professor. Then you look at the score. 4.8 is good. Now, if all of her ratings spell cat, K-A-T, and write one long sentence that's like 15 sentences long because they don't know how to use grammar, then you might want to be leery of it, okay? So let's look at them. So pull up Hoover. What does she teach? He, she. What does she teach? What class? Awesome, as Peter Griffith would say. That's awesome. Uh, great teacher. Great teacher. Awesome. Awesome. And wonderful. So chances are this is a pretty good teacher. Look at that long paragraph. Look to see if the grammar looks right. Hopefully they didn't spell pain, P-A-N-E. You know, um, two. Instead of to two, inclusive two, they said T-O. You know, uh, that kind of thing. There, you know, they use the wrong there. They use the wrong two. If you get one like that and they spell cat, K-A-T, and pain, P-A-N-E, then you might not want to, you might want to throw that out the window. Give me another one. Blotcher. Who? Blotcher. Oh, you're going to have to spell that. Uh, e -L -O -C. E -L -O -B -L -O. B L O uh, C H C H what? E R. E R Blosher? Or I don't even know who that is. They must be brand new. You might have to go to the database here. B L O C H E R. What's the first name? Victor. Victor? Oh, this don't look good. 3.7, not bad. What do they teach? Oh. <laughs> this class was a joke. I learned nothing. I don't believe that. I don't believe you can sit through 14, 15 weeks and not learn anything. So I would take this with a grain of salt. We played games like charades most days, and you would get an F for the day if you were on a losing team. Yeah, okay. This this class brought down my GPA. That don't sound that don't sound grammatically correct. Some of you English people. Is that correct? Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. But not because of anything I did. Of course. Super awesome. How many ratings does he have? 67 ratings, and he's got a 3.7, which is almost a 4. Chances are you're going to be all right. If you get one with a 2, drop. Get the hell out. Anybody got one more? Who? Oh, go. K-R-E. I know who it is. It's not going to be good. Some people don't like Mr. Crease. I don't have a problem with him, but... Okay, he's got a 2.9, so you're going to be all right. The, the problem here is, I think, more of a cultural problem. He's very blunt, and a lot of people don't like that. I think that's pretty much it. Is it. Uh, absolutely not looking forward. Worst experience. Again, Better professor, you know, could not have picked a better professor. I think personally you'll be, you'll be all right. <clears throat> but I don't think you'll be all right if you're lazy in his class. Okay? I'm lazy. I'm against lazy, but I'm a redneck type teacher. He's against lazy, but he's a more polished, defined teacher. I'm not that way. Okay? So, use this. Get Skype. Go to YouTube. Get on to, uh, try to get on to My Labs Plus. I'm not going to be very stringent on My Labs Plus right now because hopefully by the end of the week you can get on. But try to get on as soon as possible, okay? I'll see y'all Wednesday. I'm going to turn the recorder off. I've already taken the roll because everybody's here.